Hello, this is um, your teacher, uh, Mr. Drobny, doing a video on how to do the um, pumpkin carving on a computer assignment. So this is another Photopea assignment, so um, we're going to be using Photopea, obviously, but make sure that you have checked the assignment on Schoology. There should be some PNGs of pumpkins that you can actually just download. Um, and so remember PNGs are pictures with uh, like invisible uh, backgrounds. So anyways, let's start by just going on to Photopea. Okay. And what you can do is actually, if you already have a background set up, you could just go ahead and open that. Uh, so here's the background I found online. I made sure it wasn't super grainy. It's a little bit grainy, but you know, it's still okay. And so what you can do now is you can go up to file and say open in place. Okay, so we got our background and now we're adding the the pumpkins on there. Okay. So I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, so it's it's quite big. Um we don't really want it to be that big. I'm gonna make it about that size and put it there and I want you to at least have three of these uh, guys okay so don't just put one on there so I'll put another one size it correctly and put them right there and then we get our last one I haven't used this one yet. Okay. So open that one, size it, move it over a bit. Okay. So the whole gang is there. Now, before we go ahead and start carving these with the lasso tool, um, there's one thing you got to do first. So if you look really close, there's these little weird uh, squares on the layers. That means it needs to be rasterized. Uh, rasterizing just makes it so you can edit the the layer. So to rasterize, you have to click with two fingers and bring up these uh, all these options, and there it is. So you click that, and now if you try to do something with it, you can now edit it. Okay, so you have to make sure to rasterize all the pumpkins. Alright, so now that they're all rasterized, you can, now you can edit them. Okay, so we're using the lasso tool because it's, uh, it's most like, kind of like a knife and carving. So, um, what you do is, is you're going to draw a little bit. So you're going to select an area and then you're going to say backspace each time you have an area selected. So I'm just doing the eyebrows right now backspace add some eyes in backspace so uh, you have to select an area and then you have to do backspace so if you try doing multiple areas at once it will take away the last selection you made so you can only have one thing selected at a time which is kind of annoying but just how it is okay so there's one face. Now it's time to do faces on the other pumpkin. So if I were to try to make an edit on this pumpkin right now, it won't do anything. Okay? That's because I'm still on this pumpkin. So you want to make sure you're on the right pumpkin, okay? There it is. So now I can make edits on it. Try to make them a little bit interesting, you know. Don't just uh, do your standard uh, smiley face. Try to you know give them some personality, put some time into it, put some creativity in it. Uh, you know, like you would with a real pumpkin. This is actually perfect because now you can get some practice for when you might do this in real life. This is a lot safer than it is in real life, though, because it's uh, less messy. Actually, it's not messy at all. 
and there's no knives involved. Alright, so, uh, we got one down, oh, two down, and now we have this one, okay. So making sure that this layer is highlighted, I'm on that layer, go over here. Um, you know, I'm just going to do a quick one here, kind of a classic jack-o'-lantern. Alright, okay, so now we got all of them carved, you can just say deselect, and take a look at what you've done, that sounds like a, a bad statement, but we got our, we got the boys here, uh, now your next part of the project is to make it look like there is, uh, you know, light in there, so there's like quite a few ways to do this, I wanted you to be able to kind of try this on your own, try out some different methods, but I'm just going to show you some options you have. So one thing you can do is you can use this uh, paint bucket tool. And what that does is it just fills an area with one color. The paint bucket tool doesn't appear on this toolbar. You actually have to find it. So under the gradient tool you hold and there it is. So it's, it's hidden. It's hiding. Okay. So now this part's important because if you try to color, say this guy, it'll fill the whole screen. And that is because I was not on that layer. So now if I try here, now I can actually fill in these blank spots. And if you accidentally click, like, say, the pumpkin or something, and it does that, just go over here to the history and you can click back. Okay. So that's one of the ways you can do it. Another way you can do it is, say, I want to do this one. Add a new layer and pull it down below that pumpkin. You can use a brush layer or just, you know, use the brush. Oh, see? Wrong layer sure your layer is correct you can fill in that way the cool thing about doing this method is that you can also uh, do a little bit of a uh, shading it'll look a little more realistic if you do this so I'm just getting a, a soft brush and I'm just doing this that's a little bit of a hard one though so if you don't want to do that I totally understand uh, another way you can do it, so I got this last pumpkin here, is you can select all the, the little empty areas and you can use the brush that way. This also looks a little bit more realistic too because you can have a, more than just one color in there. So this is just a way of creating, uh, you know, the shadows that you might see, you know, in a jack-o'-lantern. And again, this works best if you use just a soft brush because, um, well, I mean, uh, you could, you'll see why. If you try to use a hard brush, it just won't look too great. Okay. And let's see how that looks. Uh, pretty good. All right, so you know you can compare and contrast. You know, I, I say this is probably or you know maybe less easy option, but I would say that it looks a lot better. All right. So if you've done all that and you're kind of bored, you can do one other thing that is uh, gonna make it look a lot better. So if you go on your background layer and get a black brush. This is a lot of steps, so if you don't want to do this, you can just, you know, save and turn in now. But, uh, you can add shadows below the pumpkins so that it looks like they are actually uh, in the background. So you can do this. I'm just using this uh, you know, soft brush. 
with uh, the color black and I'm just clicking behind the pumpkins on the background layer so now it kinda looks like you know they're actually there right so it's it's just giving that more uh, realistic uh, feel to it and you could even do this on the pumpkins but I'm I'm gonna let you guys figure that one out so if you wanna do that you can you can try it out or you can ask me how you do that but yeah this is all we're doing alright so you got a few options of lighting the pumpkins make sure you do light them in some way um, and then make sure you have at least three and make sure there's some kind of background and that's that's all you gotta do for full points okay so there you go I hope this was helpful and uh, make sure you export as a JPEG and give it a name Jacko Lantern didn't spell that one right that's why I'm not an English teacher alright that's it thank you for watching I hope that helped good luck